It's time now for a look at least in local sports and sports. The Wayne County Yellow Jacket baseball team raised its recent record to 4-0 with an 18-0-3 inning blowout of New Hampstead Tuesday in Savannah. Jackets in the top of the third inning sent 22 batters to the plate, scored 17 runs on 10 hits. New Hampstead walked seven batters and hit one batter in that third inning. Two teams back in action here Thursday at 6 p.m. at Howard Bell Warren Field. Then game three, the series back in Savannah at New Hampstead. Carson Shaver pitched two innings. Hadley Long pitched the third. The line scores for Wayne, 18 runs on 11 hits. New Hampstead, no runs on just one hit. Once again, the game two of the series tomorrow here at 6 p.m. Pre-game 550 on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Varsity Boys tennis team traveled to Savannah yesterday, took on Benedictine. Benedictine wins that match 5-love. Varsity Girls soccer team at Camden yesterday. Camden wins 5-1. Lone goal by Shiona Trice. The Varsity Boys team won over Camden yesterday 4-1. Emmanuel Herrera had two goals for Wayne County. World Baseball Classic title goes to Japan. They defeated the United States last night by a final score of 3-2. O'Shea Yatani, the current Babe Ruth, comes in to pitch the ninth for Japan. Strikes out Mike Trout in the game. Yatani plays for the Angels for the past three years. Pitches and plays in the outfield. Leads his team in home runs. Has done that the last three seasons. Again, Babe Ruth, the only other player that pitched and played a position, hit home runs. O'Shea Yotani has captured the baseball world last night, led his country, Japan, to the World Baseball title. Japan did not lose a game during the World Baseball Classic Tournament, and they will win last night over the United States by a final of 3-2. to two. Finally, in sports, GHSA has approved instant replay for the state championship football games this year to be played at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Head coaches are limited to one challenge per half, but the head replay official can call for review at any time during the game. GHSA Executive Director Robin Hines says the time is right. He says while there has not been an epidemic of controversial calls, there have been a couple over the past six years that changed the outcome of games. He says we now have the technology to correct that, and our goal is to get it right. So once again, instant replay will be used this year in the state championship football games in Atlanta at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.